All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'm taught to Akim out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And this lesson, I want to title it around something like <clears throat> um, cutting out all the distractions, you know, because things. In this world, they're all here, dang near outside of anything that's for the spirit, spiritual growth. And that's good for you in the spirit. Everything is set up to be a distraction and to distract you from your main purpose, from your main objective. All right. And what's our main purpose or our main um, objective? It's serving and doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And then, like I said, you got all these things set up all right to in a world to distract you you know you um, whether it's you doing things too much you know not being balanced or uh you know getting caught up uh focusing on too much of your energy in one set um one area you know doing other things instead of putting more energy towards the ministry and doing the willy how about shim yow shy all right and just getting caught up in things in life in general you know because so, the list can go on and on about things that can get you distracted and, and to separate your focus, you know. All right, take your focus away from what it's supposed to be set upon, which is doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with, uh, before I do read this, I'm going to start with a different scripture. A lot. Yeah, this is Second Timothy two and four. It says, "No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier." Now, everything in this life is set up to get you entangled. You know, all right, to get you caught up in it. Because if you get tangled up in something, what's that? I'm um, like, you know, if you. Say, for instance, you get tangled up in some ropes or tangled up in whatever. you caught in something. You know, you're stuck. You know, now you like, you're not moving forward, so to speak. You're entangled. You're wrapped up in it. So you're not supposed to be getting entangled with the affairs of this life. You know, getting caught up with the affairs of this life, with things of this life, you know. Because this whole life, this world is temporary, you know. It ain't going to be here forever. Everything that we see ain't going to be here forever. All right. So we shouldn't be allowing these things to to have power over us to to the point to where it distracts us and take our focus away from um, focusing in more on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even now more than ever, you know, because we're closer to the end now more than ever. Seeing all these prophecies taking place and seeing how things are turning out. All right. This whole year been a year of prophecy, literally. All right. Seeing prophecies left and right. All right. So if you're if you were chosen to be a soldier, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that's what you gotta be. All right, you should not not be not um getting caught up, you know, in the affairs of this world, you know. Cause that's what it's all about. What our life is set up to do what? Please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It's a lot. Yeah, this is Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is your reasonable service. And this is the main service we're supposed to be focused on, all right? Not getting caught up in the things of this world. Because, like I said, it's easy to get caught up in it because that's what this world is set up for, especially Babylon. You know, it has so many different things here pur purposely set up just to get you entangled in, get you wrapped up in it. And then next thing you know, a whole day done went by or hella hours done went by. 
you know, time time to went by that you could have spent doing something else, you know. So that's why you got to cut out all the distractions because when you're trying to f really focus on something and you cut out all the distractions, there's literally nothing else that you can do but focus on that task at hand because you didn't cut out all those different things that were trying to take your focus away. And once you just totally lock in and, and zone in, so to speak, you cut out all those distractions, then you're able to focus in more and do even more on the task at hand. And what's our task at hand, which is our reasonable service, which is to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and doing his will. All right. And this is Ecclesiastes 9, and I want to go to verse 10. It says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do with all thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Now, in order for you to do it with all your might, you got to be totally zoned in and focused. All right? That's like, you know, say, for example, it's not the, the best example, so to speak, yet, you know, you get the point. But say if you in the gym or whatever, if you finna lift something like super heavy, you got to be like super focused when you're moving at that heavy weight. Because if you're distracted, then you could mess up and, you know, hurt yourself or drop the weight on yourself or something, you know. But then when you fully focused in and you locked in on doing it, then you're able to fully go through and hit it. You know, with no no problems, you know, going all the way through. <clears throat> but then when you're distracted, you, you can mess up. Just like if you're driving, <clears throat> you over here supposed to be focused on the road. If you got all these distractions going on, you on the phone, you looking at a video on your phone or, you know, texting or whatever, then what? You could crash, you know, because you wasn't focused. All right. And what we're supposed to be focusing on is doing the work. You got to do it with all your might. Now, if you're getting distracted by things of the world, getting entangled with the affairs of this world, you're not able to do it with all your might at that point. That's the main point I'm getting to. All right. You being distracted by, you know, putting your energy in all these different um, directions, you know, whatever things that may be uh, distracting you in your life, you know, because everybody has their own things that go through at the end of the day. Nonetheless, you, you're putting all your energy all over the place instead of focusing solely in on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai more. You're not able to do it, serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai with all your might because you're distracted with other things. Now, the only way for you to fully do it is by cutting off those things that are distracting you, you know? Now, there is a balance with that at the same time, all right? Yet, you have to examine yourself as the scriptures say and find that balance as far as you balancing your energy and not just being all over the place and knowing the balance of putting the proper time in and being to the point to where you're able to fully serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai with all your might, you know? That's something for you, you know, each individual person to figure out because, like I said, everybody is different and their situations are different. So I can't necessarily say what you need to do versus the next person. I'm just giving a you know general situation. But you get the point though. All right. Now let me go back and get this last scripture that I had earlier. First Timothy chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse fourteen. Or a matter of fact, I'm gonna start at thirteen. First Timothy four and thirteen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, 
meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that they, thy profiting may appear to all. Now, in order for you to give yourself wholly into something, you know, fully, you got to cut out the distractions, man. You know, and like I said, you got to figure out what those distractions are because every person, individual person, has different um, scenarios. All right. Nonetheless, that's up for you to examine yourself and figure out what is distract what's um, distracting you or stopping you from fully, you know, doing more, from giving yourself wholly over to Yahweh Hashem Shai, even more so, you know, because you're never supposed to be at a point to where you're content where you're at. All right, you're always supposed to be wanting to do more. And if you want to do more, you got to figure out what's stopping you from doing more, you know. And that's up, like I said, that's up to you to examine yourself and really sit down and meditate upon it and reflect, like, all right, what things can you, like, cut back on doing or cut out from doing if it is that serious, you know, to if you got to cut it all the way off or something. Doing whatever you got to do, you know, cutting out whatever things you got to cut out. In order for you to give yourself wholly over to Yah by Shemiah Shai and serving him with all your might, man. You gotta cut out those distractions. Alright. So with that, you know I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakar Kudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom Ta'ala Aki Matera preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.